narrow sites are really tricky sites, but one I think that good architects really excel at. How do you make a, a four and a half metre building internally feel spacious? But not only spacious, but well lit. That's where devices like courtyards or light wells come into play. And the keyhole void or that lovely little uh, curved slot that sits above the living room, designed to grab the northern light and pull it all the way down through about four metres of building. So that gets this beautiful relief of skylight. But it's not just the light itself, it's how you frame that light. And that really provides this endlessly fascinating view up to this light source, almost like this celestial light coming down. I think really adds to the beautiful qualities of being within that space. The bathroom is the, the room that we really term the bathing room. Uh, it's a bigger, more generous space. The innovation there was really setting about creating these micro spaces within a larger room that allowed you to organise program but also feel contained within that program. So the scalloping of that rear wall to hold those individual programs meant that when you were in there, each element felt special in and of themselves. We talk about homes like um, Concrete Bond being a jewellery box. It's a jewellery box because inside this, this, what is a relatively small site, is this really intricate and well detailed building, much like a jewellery box is small and when you open it up, the intricacy and the detail within there is this very beautiful thing to look at. And at the core of what everything Carter Williamson does is the client. We, we know fundamentally without them the project doesn't succeed. But what they really sought from us and sought from the building is to enshrine within the new design their emotional connection from the, the marbles and the chips in the, the, the polished concrete floor, like a lovely terrazzo floor that meant something to Irene, to the timber table that we've made as part of this really clever way of organising space and having this big generous dining table, but also working with a big generous kitchen. Those interior spaces are really fundamental to making a home, you know, to get that emotional connection. Within Carter Williamson, we don't necessarily distinguish between uh, from an ideas point of view from the architecture that is viewed externally than from the architecture that's viewed internally. Uh, yet clearly there is a, a different expression, you know, one's internal space and one's external space, one's resisting weather, one's actually the surfaces from which you engage with on a day-to-day -day basis. With Concrete Blonde there was an old um, green kitchen within the, the house that uh, Irene kind of loved. And a lot of our conversations was about bringing greenery within the building. You know, we've got this beautiful gum tree and gardens in around the building. And the idea that we're going to have this light well with this green screen really played up this idea that we could, we could bring in the, the, the Dulux white cabbage, that, that beautiful uh, soft green within the building. And that can really be the, the anchor point for how we experience um, the internal space within that living space, that, those spaces that you spend most of your time. So designing a home specifically around the people that are going to be in there feels like the, the most rewarding and precious of processes. And one of those really rich things that I think uh, this is where architects and architecture really sings is when you can be so connected to the client that you, yes, you're not only designing for, for them and delivering them a home and a building, but something that is so intrinsically emotionally theirs right from the get-go, for us, I think, is the highest honour have in a working relationship.